Okay, let's take a look at these couple questions here where we're given the area under a standard normal curve and then asked to find the z value. So what I first want to do is look at the normal curve itself. And here's our normal curve. Do, 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 do. Not a great one here. But let's say here, zero. Okay, what that is, is giving us the area under the curve. That's a z value. That's going to give us an area of 0.5. Okay, it's giving you the area to the left of the curve. So when we're given the area of the curve, okay, we're given this shaded area inside here. So let's go back to our curve. And I have the area under a standard normal curve from 0 to z. So let's see, here's 0, 0 is in the middle, and z is 0 0.3508, and z is positive. So z is over here on the positive side. And we'll say, I don't know, it's maybe right here. And our area is 0 0.3508. Okay, so what they're telling us is that this area is 0 0.3508. And we need to find the z-score. Well, the z-score is given to you as the area, okay, or the area to the left of the curve. Okay, so if I take this and I add the rest of the area to the left, I should be able to find the z-score. So the rest of this area that's missing here is 0.5 because half of the curve to the left is 0.5 and the half to the curve to the right is 0.5, okay, from one side of the mean to the other. So if I add these two together, I'm going to get the area under this curve. So 0.5 plus 0.3508 is going to give me 0.8508. Okay, so for the z-score, okay, the area to the left of the curve is 0 0.8508. So we're going to use the calculator command inverse norm. And it's right under that normal CDF. And when we do inverse norm, we want the area to the left. And then our mean and our standard deviation. Okay, now in this case, this is given to us in normalized terms. So our mean is zero and our standard deviation is one. Okay, so in this case, here's what I'm going to enter in my calculator. Inverse norm, 0 0.8508, zero and one. And in the 84, you don't have to do the or the commas. You just enter those commands in and click paste for your command. So my calculator, I'm going to go second distribution. I'm going to go down to this command here, inverse norm, area to the left, 0 0.8508, comma, 0, comma, 1. And then I'm going to close it, enter. So 1.039, we'll say 1.040. Okay, that's your z-score. Okay, and how can you check that? Well, you can check that going normal CDF, and then go zero, and then your z-score, and you should get this 0 0.3508 here. So let's check. I'm just going to put the second answer in so I can get it completely accurate. So second negative gives me the previous answer. 0 0.350, and that would round to 8. Okay, so that's how we check those. So let's take a look at another problem. So the area under the standard normal curve from 0 to z is 0 0.4850, and z is negative. Okay, so let's draw this out so we can get a picture of it. All right, so 0 is here. Z is on this side, and the area is 0 0.4850. Okay, so here's my visual. I am missing this little part here. So if I want to find that little part there, I'm going to subtract from what this is encompassing. So if I say 
the area from zero to the left here encompasses this whole part here, that's 0.5. So let's find what we're missing. We're gonna go 0.5 minus 0 0.4850. And that's gonna be our area to the left. Okay, so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4850 gives us 0 0.015. Okay, so this missing area here is 0 0.015. Well, that's our area to the left of our Z. So we're gonna go inverse norm, 0 0.015, 0, 1, and that'll give us our z-score. Negative 0.217, or negative 2.17. So our z-score, negative 2.17. Okay, let's say I want to check that. I can go, we can go negative 2.170. So normal CDF. And that should give me that 0 0.4850 that's given to us in the original problem. So normal CDF, negative, oh, that's a minus sign, hold on. Can't use a minus sign, gotta use the negative sign. Negative 2.170. 0.48499, which rounds to 0.4850. All right, and then this last problem here, the value of Z so that the area under the standard normal curve in the left tail is 0 0.015. Well, that's actually what we just did. There's 0 0.015, so it's negative 2.17. That's a pretty easy one. Let's say maybe negative 2.17, let's say it's the other way around, we'll go in the right tail. Okay, let's look at the problem from that perspective. So if I draw this out, here's my normal curve. And the area in the right tail is 0 0.015. So I need to find the z-score, but in order to do that, I need the area to the left. So I need my missing area. So what we wanna do here is the entire curve, the area under the entire curve is one. And we always wanna remember that area under curve So what we wanna do is do one minus 0 0.015, then that'll give us our missing area. So, That should give us 0.985. All right, so if I come to my curve here, we can draw this in green. Okay, this whole area here that we're missing is, what was it again? 0.985. So if I want to find the z-score, I'm going to go inverse norm. 0.985, because we always have to put the area to the left. 0 and 1. And we get 2.17, but it's positive this time. Okay, so that just kind of leads you into chapter 7 a little bit when we look at, or sorry, chapter 8 when we look at confidence intervals. So you're going to kind of see that here that you're going to have the same areas under the curve on opposite ends of your normal curve.